Hey, what's up? I'm Beth and this is Star Makeup. Today's video, we are going to try out a bunch of products from Kaleidos Makeup. So we are going to play with the Futurism 5 Electra Turquoise Palette. And if you haven't seen this, this is what the palette looks like. It is this beautiful turquoise color story with that super unique pop of orange. Absolutely love it. It's an awesome color story. Um, I'm also going to play with one of the highlighters. This is Moon Cruiser. And it's like a gorgeous kind of violet blue. And then I'm also going to try out the Charisma Contour Palette. This one is in light and cool, or cool and light, I believe is the way that it's actually worded. And we're also going to try out the Tone Activator Eye Primer. So if you are curious about what I think of any of these products, or you would like to see how I got this eye look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have had this whole Kaleidos order that I got for like a little over a month now and I haven't touched any of it. Um, I got the Charisma Contour Duo and I wanted to try that on camera with you guys. Um, of course, I also have highlighters and I also picked up the eye primer. So, um, I figured I would just try these on camera, that way, you know, you can see how they work if you haven't tried any of the Kaleidos products. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this light shade and I'm going to use that to set and brighten, hopefully, <laughs> my under eyes. So I'm just going to tap and make sure that I don't have any severe creasing. I did kind of dust over it real quick when I set the rest of my face, but I didn't really like set it, set it. So this is a ColourPop F10 brush and it's just like a nice angled brush that kind of fits like right in to your under eye kind of perfectly. So I just kind of press the powder in and then I go back and just kind of like dust across it. The powder seems like it's pretty finely milled. Cool, I hope the contour is like this too. That's gonna be nice. Oh, and I didn't say, um, this one is the Cool and Light. Um, the day that I'm posting this video is actually going to be the day that um, Angelica Nikovist's palette with Kaleidos is going to be available to order. Um, and I think when I get that, I'm also going to grab this in the, I think it's called Warm and Medium, um, because I think that one would work for me too. And I'm just curious, so I figured I would give it a shot. Um, this brush that I use for this, um, I know it was a Lorella brush and it came in one of their sets. Um, but I just found that using a little brush like this helps me get my contour like so much more precise. I don't have a very large face, so having those like giant brushes to do contour and even bronzer just doesn't make sense for me. So I prefer to use something a little smaller. So. I always hold my brush at the very end and really lightly I just kind of brush the product from like kind of the top of my ear and I just kind of feather it 
towards the corner of my mouth. So yeah, I mean that shade is perfect. And these powders really blend like so nicely. So yeah, I think these little contour palettes are awesome. Like I'm very surprised. I figured I would like them, but I didn't know I would like them that much. Let's move on to highlighter. Um, I have chosen to use Moon Cruiser, which is this really pretty like blue violet kind of highlight. It is so gorgeous. And I'm going to use my LaRousse highlighter brush. Oh man. Wow. Okay. I mean, I knew what the Kaleidos highlighters looked like on uh, like a screen watching somebody else do it, but wow. Okay. <laughs> they are very, very pretty. Super shiny. The only thing that I will say I'm not super thrilled about is they do seem to be more of like the shine is coming from glitter. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of that. I just don't know how I feel about that yet. So, yeah. I don't know. It's gonna take me a little bit of time and playing with them a little bit to decide how I feel about it. I know I don't want to use it anywhere but on my cheeks right now. Um, so I will do a different highlight like on my nose and my cupid's bow off camera later. Um, Cause I just don't want all that glitter like all over the place. So let's go in on the eyes now, finally. So I'm gonna use the tone activated primer. And I'm just going to, oh, that was probably too much. Um, just gonna put some of that on and I'm gonna use this crown brush. If you've watched a decent amount of my other videos, you would know that I have like a massive thing for eye primer. I have so many of them. <laughs> I don't know why, I just really, really like trying different eye primers. So I have had this primer sitting here for, you know, like I said earlier, a little over a month. <laughs> and it has been killing me not to try it, but I wanted to try it with the Kaleidos palette and on camera for the first time way you could get an honest first impression and it has been killing me. <laughs> so we are going to use the Electro Turquoise palette and the look that I'm gonna do is gonna be like pretty obvious, not super inventive. I'm sure it exists out there a hundred times over because it just seems like the logical thing that you would do um, with this palette. But the whole reason that I wanted this palette was for those like turquoise shades. So obviously I'm going to showcase them. That's what I want to do. So um, I think I'm going to start out with the ColourPop E27 and I'm going to start with this shade which is called Digiteal. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my crease, inner to outer corner. 
So I don't know how I'm feeling about this primer. Um, I mean, the shadow definitely seems to be sticking to it well, but I don't know. I don't feel like my brush can move across it as easily as I would like it to, if that makes sense. So I'm just kind of taking this and slowly working it up a little bit. So I'm going to switch over to my ColourPop E23 and then I'm going to go into this lighter teal shade which is called Force Field. And then I'm just going to use that to blend out the deeper shade. So I'm going to go back with the E27 No Additional Product and just make sure that that deeper shade is still nice and intense. These shadows blended together beautifully. I mean, like, seriously, these shades are amazing. I mean, I am so, so excited for Angelica's palette, especially now that I've finally played with these because the colors that she picked are just going to be uh, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go back one more time, no additional product with this brush. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the ColourPop E26 and I'm going to go in with this brown shade and that one is called Wired. And I'm just gonna do that for just like the outer half of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take the ColourPop E28 and I'm going to pick up that orange shade. And that one is called Voltaic. I'm going to focus that mostly in the inner portion and then just kind of blend that brown out with this. Okay, and I'm gonna take the E25, no product, just the clean brush, and just make sure that there's no harsh line from the orange. I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer, and this is the ColourPop E4. My E3 is dirty. <laughs> And this one works almost as well. So I'm just gonna put some primer on the brush. And then I'm just going to swipe that across my lid. And then I'm just going to go right around my eye. Oh, so I am going to pick up Tron, which is this gorgeous duochrome blue shade. And I'm gonna use the E24 for this, because I'm just gonna go the whole way across my lid with it, so may as well just use the bigger brush, right? Oh, oh my god, look at that that is gorgeous oh, that is so stunning and i mean like obviously i knew it was going to be but like to finally see it in person on my eye <laughs> oh this is so, so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go back with the E27 and pick up just a little bit more of that deep, 
turquoise and I'm going to pack that in that very outer corner of my lid and make sure that it blends in with that shimmer. I'm gonna go back to that E23 and just make sure this little outer bit here is blended. The last thing is I'm going to take the E29. It's this flat little packing brush. And I'm going to take Shockwave, which is the only other shadow that I haven't used yet, this one. And I am going to pack that into the tear duct area and of course as usual I'm going to pull that down onto my lower lash line a bit and then I'm also going to kind of blend it into that green a little too Okay, so I think that is going to be it for the eye look. Um, I'm going to go off camera, recreate this on the other eye, throw on some lashes, liner, lip products, and I will be right back to show you the completed look. Okay, so this is the completed look. And these shimmers just have blown my mind. They are so sparkly and wet looking. Uh, they are just, they're crazy. Um, the mattes blend so well. I cannot wait to use the other palettes. I can't wait to get Angelica's palette. So yeah, um, my first experience with Kaleidos has been amazing. I really, really love it. Um, not sure how I feel about the primer yet. I will probably let you guys know because I have two other palettes um, of like these small six pan palettes. And then, like I said, I'll be ordering Angelica's collaboration palette and with that one, I will probably do a first impression and then like a one palette, three look um, kind of thing. So I will probably use that eye primer for all of that. And by the time I'm done with um, the three looks with Angelica's palette, then I will let you know like how I really feel about this primer. And I'm also going to use it with like other eyeshadows too. Um, so yeah, I will give you like a full rundown on what I think of this primer sometime later. <laughs> Cause I mean, it took like over a month to get this order. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get Angelica's palette. Um, okay. So I used the NYX Epic Wear in the shade Intense Teal in my waterline. Um, I actually decided I was going to try doing mascara before putting my lashes on because when I first learned how to put lashes on, I found it very difficult to do with mascara. Um, but since I'm better at it now, I figured I should give it a shot and I actually think I like doing it this way. Um, but I use the Milani Highly Rated on my upper lashes. And then I used the L'Oreal Telescopic on my lower lashes. Um, the lashes that I used are Ardell number 207. You probably can't see that because my camera doesn't want to focus on it. But yeah, they're Ardell 207 black lashes. Um, I think I'm probably going to can these <laughs> because they're like really on their last legs. Um, I used the Nomad Cosmetics. Um, this is the 
pomoral beach highlighter um, to do like my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, my forehead. Um, and this Kaleidos highlighter is kind of growing on me. I don't know, like as it's sinking into my skin, I'm really kind of starting to like it. So we'll see how that goes with the other ones that I got. And let's see, the only other thing is my lips. So um, I haven't tried this before. This is the first time that I'm trying it. This is the Lip Crush from Moira Cosmetics. Um, and these were recommended to me by a friend of mine on Instagram. Um, Newbie Loves Color is her handle. I will put that down in the description box. If you are not following her, you need to go follow her. She does the coolest build your own palettes with the most unique color stories. She's got so many beautiful topper shades that she puts on top of her eyeshadows. You have got to go check out her looks. She is amazing. Um, but she had recommended, I found out about Mora Cosmetics from her and I asked her what lip products were good and these were ones that she had recommended. Um, I just never picked them up until just recently. So this is in the shade Flirt and I think these are like, like a lip stain because it has completely sunk into my lips. Uh, I There's no transfer whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I think these work more of like a lip stain. So yeah, I will let you know how I feel about these after I've tried them for a little bit. But so far, I think they're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think that is everything for this first impression very good first impression um so keep your eye out for videos with the other palettes from kaleidos thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel if you do ring the notification bell that way you get notified every time i post a new video you can hop over to instagram and follow me over there everything will be listed in the description box down below and i will catch you in the next one Bye.